Okay, so it's challenge time once again. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so it's challenge time once again, and I want to see you put into practice what we've just learnt about adding effects to commands in Sonic Pi. And so I've got my three note melody here. And what I'm going to do is play it to you once again, but with an effect applied. And what I want you to do is a little bit of detective work to see if you can find out which of Sonic Pi's effects I'd applied to my little melody here. So it's going to be a bit of trial and error, just going to try out some different effects and see if you can recreate that sound. Here it is once again. Okay, time to pause this video and get to work. I hope you were able to figure out that it was the echo effect that I had applied to my three notes here to create that interesting bouncy character to the sound. Echo effects or delay effects like this one are used all the time in recorded music. We hear them on vocal tracks and guitar tracks just to add another dimension to what's going on in the sound. And so when you're working on your Sonic Pi compositions, you can think, you know, do we want a slightly different character, a different sound there? And when we do need that, effects can be really helpful. Of course, all of the effects are fully documented in the help section, so if we wanted to read more about Echo and learn more about how it works, we can do that here in the FX tab. And just then I was using Echo's default settings, but just like since, you can change the settings of your effects to create a slightly different sound to your music.